So taking into consideration about the air, air pressure and our, uh, the, the heating process of the solar radiation. So now we will discuss about the pressure belts clearly. So at the equator as we have discussed at the equator the solar radiations are high and intense. So the air molecules which are existing uh, above the land or above the sea on this zone get more heat and this hot air will go upward. As we have discussed in earlier classes that once if the molecules are become lighter and you know the number of molecules also become short, smaller and you know shorter and they fly they fly they blow upward so this blowing upward of these air molecules makes that area the pressure will become also low the reason why this equator zone is nothing but low pressure belt we call as low pressure belt Taking into consideration about the equator, this is coined as a equatorial low pressure belts. Equatorial low pressure belts. So now the, the heated air, these heated air molecules, once if you are going upward, it's not that they are the way the path which they have taken going upward it's not that again they are going in the same path like uh, you know they are not solid particles like they go in the same direction it's not like so it's a gaseous molecule as we have discussed earlier if they go upward again they take up the different direction it spreads in a different uh, uh, directions not they won't come back in the same direction uh, they went so that is a very important uh, thing that these eight molecules are going to some of the molecules going towards the north and some of the air molecules these gaseous molecules are going towards south part of the uh, earth globe so these uh, tropical zones the air above these tropical zones again the similarly they are uh, converging from one zone to the other zone the reason why this zone also called as intertropical convergence zone uh, in short ITCZ intertropical the tropical zones from uh, northern hemisphere and the tropical zone of the southern hemisphere the air is converging and uh, this zone is nothing but ITCZ is having the low pressure because the heat is more once the heat is more the air molecules are going scattering you know spreading here and there so similarly once if they cool they come closer they sink towards the earth surface and again the molecules become dense if you are finding the dense molecules more molecules so recall if the more molecules means the more pressure that means similarly in the cooler areas in the cold regions the molecules are very dense so dense means high pressure zones so always remember this polar belts are high pressure belts so high pressure north pole belt high pressure south pole belt so as uh, we have observed at the equator the molecules which are highly you know the, uh, due to this high uh, intense of solar radiation are heated up and these molecules are going upward and again they take back the different direction as per uh, once if they go upward and they may move towards the south and towards the north but at the same time once if they get cool so again they sink uh, down to the earth surface so forming this subtropical uh, zone with high pressure so that is very important and very interesting so these molecules which are going upward it's not that they are going uh, away uh, uh, to the exosphere again it's going coming back to the earth surface so this coming back or falling here making this zone high pressure high pressure 
zone. So you we usually call as subtropical high pressure. Similarly, subtropical high pressure zones. And this is towards southern hemisphere and this is towards the northern hemisphere. And we have this uh, uh, latitude as we know Tropic of Cancer Tropic of Cancer and this latitude Tropic of Capricorn so around uh, these uh, latitudes you have the high pressure zones and the low uh, and you will find the center equatorial low pressure belts low pressure belts because of the uh, more uh, radiation of the solar radiation so these air molecules which are going upward from the surface of the earth due to the earth's uh, <coughs> heat uh, at the equator so once if they are cooling down they again come back to the surface strike at the surface and will become two parts and one part as you know this low pressure belt that means as we have already discussed wind travels from high pressure belts to the low pressure belts that means this air molecule once if it is traveling and striking the earth surface and uh, dividing into two parts one part goes back to the low pressure belt that means again it comes to the equator similarly here at the equator the the air molecule which is falling in the nearby uh, southern atmosphere is touching one strikes here and other is moving towards south and other moving towards north so this cyclic uh, wind called as you know equatorial cyclic zone where you get the low pressure and similarly here in the subtropical uh, high pressure zone we have the the land uh, the air above the land of or sea in this tropical zone having more higher pressure is having more rainfall at the same time in the polar areas so these polar winds once if they strike uh, the winds so we get the the different uh, kind of rainfalls that's called monsoons that we uh, learn in the next class according to a uh, coriolis effect winds traveling uh, you know uh, the northern hemisphere travels towards the east part the wind travels towards east and in the southern hemisphere wind travels towards west so according to coriolis effect the at the equator it's having the effect is zero and at the poles the effect of the wind uh, is the maximum so that's about the coriolis effect yeah this uh, coriolis effect is impact of earth's rotation earth rotates on its own axis the reason why we get the slight changes in the direction so atmosphere always around the world is always in circulation so and winds play a major role in this climatic and weather patterns that means uh, at the tropical regions you have uh, less rainfall subtropical regions you have more uh, rainfall so this kind of patterns are mainly because of this winds and winds direction